Hey, how you doing guys? Welcome to Andy, the ESL guy. If you're watching this video, I'm guessing you've possibly had a bit of a rough day in the classroom. So here are 10 quick fire activities you can try to try and pull back your students' attention. Take pants off. Take pants off. Ah, uh, take points off. Okay. Now this might sound like a standard thing that everyone does, but maybe you don't use a point system. Um, however, here's a new idea you could possibly try. So how about teacher vs students? So at the start of the week, either give yourself five points, students have five points. You can start zero, zero. Throughout the week, if students are behaving not very well, add a point to yourself, teacher plus one. Uh, once again, you can take off from the students. Um, at the end of the week, who's the winner? So maybe reward them with extra break time, possibly iPad time, less homework, um, up to you. Idea number two, use some language that you regularly use in your class. For example, classroom ready, they have to reply always ready for the student to Say nothing, try again. Classroom ready? Yes, sir. Always ready. Okay, good job. This can be anything. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, everyone. Now, this one takes a bit of time. It's not going to work for every class, every age level, but give it a try anyway. See if it works for you. Today, everyone, we are going to be Much, much, much later. Today, everyone, we are going to be... Now, the silent treatment works sometimes. Once again, it's not going to work for every class, but it's always worth giving it a try. Especially works halfway through a sentence, and you can build a classroom culture where the good students actually get frustrated and encourage the other kids who are talking to be quiet. Another very simple idea that tends to work very well is make sure you are complimenting the students who are actually listening, who are doing their work. Go over to them, amazing, great job, well done. Extra house point for you today, great job. Walk around the class over there. Everyone, look, I want you to clap your hands. Round of applause for this student. What an amazing job. So, compliments can really work, okay? And um, this can create a very good, positive vibe to your class. Another thing I use quite a lot when my students, the, the chat level's rising, you know they're losing concentration, is simply mix it up. There's maybe a reason for the students to be getting slightly bored, they're tired of what they're doing. Do something completely different, play a song. Play a song you think they would like. Play a very short, funny video clip. And um, show a couple of memes on your screen. Something just to mix it up, change the atmosphere, and then boom, back in to working. Something that I've just started using recently that I find works very well is uh, little post-it notes. So if you have some spare time, write down some little encouraging notes on the post-it. Or if you want your students to improve, to be better, you can write down some little notes. Um, I'm not very happy with your attitude today. Um, I hope next time you can be better. Um, so you can go either way. So walk around the class randomly, stick one on a desk, walk away. Don't say anything. Now, mixed in with all these little tips and tricks that you can try in your class, I always think the best thing to do, which takes time, but is to build a relationship with your students. The more you get to know them, the more you will understand how they react to discipline. Also, you can then build a level of respect between you and them. The more they respect you, the more they know you, the more likely they are to behave in class. So if you can, have a chat with them randomly. Hey, how was your weekend? Spend a few minutes. 
get to know them, and I'm sure this will help with the overall class discipline. As the noise levels rise in your class, simply walk over to the board and you can write anything at all. Touch your nose with one finger. Okay, so write this on the board and step back, have a look at your class. Randomly, one by one, they'll start touching their nose. You can turn this into a game. The last student who hasn't touched their nose loses a point for their team. Now, you can mix this up with any different commands you want on the board. Make sure you set up a routine that you follow every day, whether that's high-fiving, shaking the hand, simply asking, how are they doing? When they come into class, you can try and put a timer on the board, maybe a one minute, two minute timer, um, or you can have some tasks that they have to do. One simple task is up on the board, this takes some time, but once they get used to it, they know to come into the class, look at the board, sit down, and get whatever is done, done. Okay, so this gives you some time to get on with those last minute things you need to do. For this activity is creating a random noise. Now, this can be as silly as you want. You can buy the game show buzzers from Amazon or Taobao, and take a harmonica into class and play a random little tune straight away you will have their attention this is something you can't do all the time but add it in now and again and i'm sure your students will have a positive reaction one thing about teaching it takes time it doesn't matter if you've been teaching for 10 years 15 years you're always going to learn new techniques um, that help with students. Sometimes moving to a new school, for example, can be very difficult as you haven't built up that relationship. So even if you've had a rough day today, I hope these techniques uh, will make it a little bit better for you tomorrow and for the rest of the teaching year. So I'll see you all soon in my next video. Cheers guys.